Welcome to History Adventuring. This is episode number 68. I'm Brad Hall, and today we're objecting to electric lighting in Old Time Phoenix. New technology can be wonderful, and it can be awful. And nowadays, when most people think of technology, they think of computers and cell phones. Speaking for myself, I love that kind of stuff. My career in graphic design grew with the introduction of computers. And although I was slow in getting a smartphone, I really like mine. I'm even looking forward to owning a self-driving car someday. But there are a lot of people who object to new technology, and there always has been. Lately, I've been thinking about the people who must have objected to electric lighting, which came fairly late to places like Phoenix, Arizona. Since we're so used to electric lighting, it's hard to imagine a time when it was a new technology. But it really wasn't all that long ago in Phoenix. It started appearing just after the turn of the century. Businesses started installing it, as did wealthy people. Let's time travel. Hell, you never catch me walking into a building with that new fangled electricity, or whatever you call it, Clem. Blamed foolishness, if you ask me, and just not natural. Well, you got that right, Hezekiah. Hand me that bottle. I could use another snort. Why, I can read the label, which says Old Panther, just fine, here without any kind of artificial light. Give me moonlight and a few stars, and I can see just fine. Did you hear that another one of them uppity rich folks on Millionaire's Row are fixing to install electric lights? That'll be the end of them. It wouldn't surprise me. Always showing off. First gas light, now this. Never thought I'd live to see the day, Clem. Just shows you how the whole world is just going to hell in a handbasket. Oh, pardon my French. It had to be a very scary thought. An invisible power that not only created light, but electrocuted people. Yes, the new technology was also used to put people in chairs and kill them. It was called an electric chair. And cities with electricity had a long list of horror stories, including horses being electrocuted on the streets. So I really can't blame people who objected to it being around them. Electricity is dangerous stuff, and it's only since it's so common nowadays that we forget that. Ask any electrician. The technology has made life better for me. I like my electric lights, and since it's going to be over 100 again today in Phoenix, I especially like my air conditioning. This has been History Adventuring. I'll talk to you later.